Okay. So, we can put some stuff to practice here. Stick this one behind. Yeah, I was just looking for a really clear yeah, another. Clear. That one is pretty clear, but yeah. it's Ooh, not so the hard. one I want. Yeah. Anyways, take a look at this. We'll we'll put this to practice. Right off the bat, we glance down. Is this a row of leading two or a row of leading three? Three. three. So that tells us what immediately. Yeah. Rodent and a. Well, let me clarify there. So. The row of leading three, if we're thinking rodent, mm -hmm. what is that? Because remember, like a little spot yeah. it's gone could yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. appear a row of leading mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the mustelids that don't really have that appearance. Mm -hmm. um, but a skunk, perhaps. And you will see little spotted skunks that are tiny, especially out in the deserts. And they actually sort of fulfill a long tail weasel niche, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. And they look a lot. They bound all around, and they can look a lot like ground squirrel sharks, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. But um, that's all neither here nor there. Um, if we look down here in this landscape and we say, okay, cool, row of leading three, we think it's a rodent, does that mean it's a front or a hind? Hind. hind? hind, boom, okay, cool. Um, row of leading, this is a great example. See these three toes, mm -hmm. front or hind? Mm -hmm. Great, and right off the bat, we can look at those three toes and say, is that a squirrel? Is that a, is that a let me say it this way, is this a fox squirrel? No. no. Is this a gray squirrel? No. no. Why? It's way too small, right? Even little baby squirrels that just fell out of the nest are probably going to be have larger feet than that. Um, there's some other things to look at, though, too. So right off the bat, we have a small rodent. But is this small? And if we look at that row of leading three, does that look like... Um, this one's actually all spread out, so this is tough. But nonetheless, take a look at the mass of this. It's still narrower. And look at the mass. Is it a deer mouse? It's no, it's, it's too big. So we're like, oh, okay, all right. Mm. That says that's already says a lot to us. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got these really round, meaty, bulbous toe pads, and what's neat about it is that if let's compare it to um, just for dramatic effect. Okay, well we'll just compare it with our squirrel first, a gray squirrel. Take a look at the distance between the toes and the heel pad itself on both the front and the hind. Mm -hmm. And this is what we've done in the new mm -hmm. Mammal Tracks and Sign book, is we've actually drawn in one toe length with toe size shapes uh. to give you an idea because in this case, this is a red squirrel. There's three toes distance between yeah. it, whereas there's only a couple toes here and it just helps us mm -hmm. start looking for to understand toe length at a glance, right? So take a look at that and then look at this. Mm -hmm. These are these really short, stubby little toes. They're very round and robust. In fact, they are basically built like a deer mouse. It's a giant deer mouse. And once we know that, know who that is, who who makes giant deer mouse tracks? Wood rats. Wood rats. Yeah. These mm -hmm. are classic wood rats. So if we look at a wood rat now, mm -hmm. and we'll look at a couple different species. Um, here's our chunky little round wood rat toes. This is the, what all wood rats do you have? Eastern, Eastern wood rats. Eastern okay, so we don't have those in here specifically. This is a bushy tail. They're slightly different. Um, but let's look at this guy right there. This is kind of what we're looking at right here size-wise. There it is. So these very round, robust, we, we like to call them chubby. Um, <laughs> and uh, the fronts and the hinds are sort of equal in size almost. Just very robust, very recognizable tracks versus some of your, if we were looking at hispid cotton rats, they've got a, a different appearance, longer toes, uh, other rat-like features, so kind of neat. Wood rat. So how would you tell size difference between like a neotoma versus a, just a ratus? Okay, so ratus, let's talk about that. And which ratus species yeah, do you have in Norway, Alabama? Black rat. Group, so Great. Cool. Ratus, ratus. Um, do we have the California guide? I'll, I'll use that. But while while that is waiting, let's take a look at this. Well, Here's, I guess if you put it back in my, did you put it back? Oh, uh, you know what? I might have it. Sorry. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, so this is pretty cool.